Although most people drink alcohol as one of life's pleasures, there are many who get no pleasure at all. This man is one of them. He's lost control of his drinking, and through that, he's lost control of his life. People like him are a load of trouble, not only to themselves, but also to their families, their friends, their colleagues, and those professionals who get caught up in the problem. You are probably one of these professionals, and Alcoholics Anonymous wants to work alongside you. Ever since AA first began, cooperation with professionals whose work brings them into contact with problem drinkers has been one of their key objectives. The purpose of this video is, quite simply, to explain to you how AA works and what it offers, both to the person with a drink problem and to the professional whose work can bring them into contact with alcoholics. Here are some of the ways AA can help. AA members will willingly come to your organization or meeting to talk about what AA has to offer, to answer questions about their fellowship and program of recovery, and to provide appropriate literature. This may be for groups of professionals, employees, volunteers, students or trainees, and can become a regular feature of in-house training. Good afternoon. My name's Isabel and I'm a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. I'd like to start by thanking you for giving me the opportunity to come and talk to you about AA. First of all, I'd like to show you a video, then I'll talk for a few minutes, and then I want to give you as much time as you need to ask questions. Members will, at the request of the problem drinker, visit him or her at home or at another meeting place as appropriate. This could include visiting a hospital to talk to a patient who is willing to listen but is currently unable to attend an AA meeting. How are you feeling at the moment? Scared. Bloody scared. I, I don't know what's happening to me. I can't stop shaking and sweating. For what it's worth, Darren, I know how you feel. I mean, before I got to AA, I was terrified by what was happening in my life. I was frightened, lonely, desperate, and I couldn't talk to anybody. I mean, who was that who could possibly understand what I was going through, how I felt? I was ashamed of myself and what I was doing to my family. I, mean, I felt frustrated and angry because I couldn't seem to hack it. Oh, I seemed to be able to cut down, stop my drinking for a while. And then every time I ended up losing it again. When any professional has established that a patient, client or employee has a drinking problem, it's important that he or she should be given information about Alcoholics Anonymous. In Donna's case, she has realized she needs help. The professional can encourage her to try AA and even support her in making her first telephone call. I'm sorry I ran out like that. I just couldn't sit there any longer. Touched a raw nerve, do you think? Yeah, sort of. Do you remember what I told you about Alcoholics Anonymous? Not really, no. I was just angry that you thought I was an alcoholic. And no, I've got a problem. I've had a long think. I can't go on like this. It's killing me. I'll never get the kids back the way I'm going on. OK. But one thing at a time. We need to deal with the drinking first. Let me tell you how AA works. So, have you got any more questions? Do you really think they could help me? Antonio, we wouldn't be having this conversation if I didn't. So what happens now? How do I get in touch? Well, I've got their number here. You can use this phone. I can't phone them today. Let me explain. The person you speak to will be an alcoholic, a member of AA, which means they'll understand exactly how you feel. They'll have been in the position you're in now, believe me. He or she will arrange for a woman member to come and see you, in your own home if that's okay, and she'll take you with her to a meeting. I mean, it's never easy going anywhere on your own for the first time, is it? If I ring them, will you stay with me while I talk? Of course. I'll be right here. Alcoholics Anonymous, can I help you? Is that AA? Yes, it is. My name's Ian. I've been given your number by someone who says you can help. He says there's a woman who can come and see me. OK. I take it you've got a drink problem and you want to do something about it, yeah? Mm. Would you like to give me your first name? Donna. OK, Donna. My life's a mess. The AA telephone volunteer, using first names only to preserve anonymity, will talk with reassurance about how AA can help. They say I can't 
During the call, the volunteer will ask her for her phone number so that another volunteer can call her back to make an appointment to visit her at home or to meet elsewhere if she so wishes. This generally happens within 24 hours. So someone will give me a ring and then come and see me? Will the neighbours know they're from AA? I couldn't handle that. No, absolutely no chance. Whoever comes to see you will be an ordinary person in ordinary clothes. And if they're in a car, it will be an ordinary car. I'm not at home at the moment. Do you want me to go home and wait by the phone? Yes, please. I'll get someone to give you a call as soon as possible, but don't worry if it's a few hours, because we're all volunteers and I can't always get somebody straight away. But ring this number again if you've got any problems, OK? OK. Thanks. A female AA member will arrange to visit Donna and take her to an AA meeting if she's willing to go. If possible, two AA members will visit, one of whom will be female. Donna? Yeah? Hi, I'm Isabel and this is Jack. Hi, Donna. We spoke on the phone. Can we come in? Yeah, sure. Donna will find guidance, support and encouragement from direct contact with other alcoholics. AA meetings will become vital to Donna's recovery. Once inside the meeting room, she will be introduced to other AA members. Membership of Alcoholics Anonymous is exclusively for those who have a desire to deal with their drink problem. Who attends and what is said at AA meetings is confidential. The newcomer needs this reassurance to start trusting. However, the way AA works and how meetings are run is not a secret. All right, my name's Jack and I'm an alcoholic. All right, welcome everyone. And a special welcome to Donna as this is our first meeting. It's good to see you, Donna. Right, let's start with a moment of silence, just to collect our thoughts and to remember why we're here. Every AA meeting opens with a moment of silence, when members are invited to collect their thoughts. After a few preliminaries, the opening, or the preamble of Alcoholics Anonymous, is read. Right. Uh, before we begin, Donna, I'd like to explain about anonymity. Uh, in order to preserve our privacy, it's important when you leave that you don't tell anyone who was at the meeting, nor talk to people about what other people have said. That way we can safely talk about whatever's on our minds. Mm -hmm. Is that okay with you? Yeah, good. Tom, would you like to read the preamble for us this week? Yeah. My name's Tom and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Tom. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Right, now, I don't normally During an AA meeting, members are encouraged to talk 